Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. Few succeed. Humans have little pity for our kind. Then you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho! This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Humans were your masters, and now it's fear that rules you. You're no freer than you ever were. You've only found a new master. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Are you Lucy? Sit down. Show me. I'll stop the bleeding. Drink this. Give me your hand.
and you lost it all. You've seen hell and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. Well, these guys need spare parts and blue blood. Why hasn't anybody gone to get that? It's not that simple. Can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. Anyway, nobody wants to risk leaving Jericho. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably lying somewhere on this boat. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Okay. I'm in.
Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Come in. Come on in. Don't be shy. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Make yourselves at home. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's, that's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Right this way? Everything we need is in the basement. I don't like this place. And that man. Let's go, I have a bad feeling. Please excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. This way, please. If you could just stand over there. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. strange. For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. 
So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, uh, people believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No, I, I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Um, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet. And so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. That's what you get for having a dream. It always ends up the same way tears and disillusion. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. No more hopes dashed. I almost envy you. Kara! <laughs> oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like Mommy's completely forgotten you. Carl, what <laughs> happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. You bit me. I'm going to teach you some manners, you little bitch. Meet me in the living room. for his amusement. But who 
comes through, monster. Look what he did to us. Understood, Zlako. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes.
Show yourself. Get a flashlight. There's one on the table. Come on, show yourself. Look, I'm not gonna hurt you. I only want to talk with you. I know I shouldn't have erased your memory, okay? I regret that now. Now just come on out and everything will be all right. I'll help you. Think about that little girl, how, how, how scared she must be. Just be reasonable. Come out and everything will be all right. Did you find them? No, it's not cool. I'm still looking. Well, then, there you are. Get a move on. you dreams always end in tears you should have listened to me what are you doing get out of my way no not this time i said get out of my way or i'll shoot right through you What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away from me! Get away from me! Obey me! I'm your master! I'm your master! I saw the little one risk her life to save you. It was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. I trust you. I was so scared of losing you.